is dyno day today down to torque motorsports see how much power these cars make stock see we're using just regular old premium no race gas or anything i've seen numbers for dyno on stock gr86s and brz's hitting around the 205 mark so we'll see what happens bye tj be nice <laughs> This guy's got his camera up. This guy's got his camera out. <laughs> He's in the car. He probably would have a camera out otherwise. Camera inception. Just like we did last time, it's just kind of a reverse step and go through, put the intake back on. Okay, there is a little tab right here by the map sensor. Map, sorry that lines up with a notch right here in the, the factory rubber piece. Make sure you get that lined up. Tighten down the clamp. Now let's uh, remember, this is plastic. That's about all you're gonna want. You can tighten that down too much, you're just gonna crush that plastic tube in there. We're gonna snap this back into its locator, plug this back in. Make sure you do this with the key off too, because if you disconnect this with the key on, you're gonna have a check engine light. That's no fun. All right, what are we saying? Five horsepower? Five. Five horsepower. All right. So we're going to be at 207, 28 when we're done. I'm giving it 6.9 horsepower. 6.9? Nice. Okay, so what do we got? We're 203, 163. I'm going to give it 209 and 167. I'm going to say 205 because that's what everybody's claiming and 165, 166. All right. Granted, the claims have been 205 bone stock, air box, the rock catcher, everything. Let's do this, fourth gear.
at 167. Wow. It's almost like you've been doing this for a while, man. And that's why John's the best tuner you can find. <laughs> Yeah, sign it again, make sure it holds it. Ew. Let's see if it holds. 10 horsepower gain from cutting the mesh filter out and just doing it. That is nuts. Uh, yeah, she lost. Did you take it for a little bit? All right, so we pick up like uh, 10, 11 horsepower, but we cut the rock catcher out, and we want to make sure that the games are still going to represent what we saw the first pole. We lost a little bit of power on the second pole, so now we let the car cool down. We're going to come back at it. We're going to do another pole. We're going to see what our horsepower levels peak out at after so much adapters to go. Uh, next thing after this, we're gonna call in the car, knock the exhaust off, and see how much power we pick up with the exhaust off. Third gear pole. Last one was on fourth gear. Yeah. Now we're probably gonna mess around with RC cars, wait for the car to cool down. We're pulling the exhaust off just to see how restrictive it is. We're thinking 15 to 20 horsepower. Like, we're thinking about 215, 220 for horsepower, maybe 175 foot-pounds torque, 178 foot-pounds torque. Once the car cooled down, the power seemed to stick around. We did fourth gear and third gear for the last two runs, and it's seeming kind of consistent. Already have how much boost was it making? I figure with no air filter, it makes a lot of boost. Oh yeah. NAs make the most boost with no air filter. Well, it had a decent drop and you take air temps with the air box, the filter removed. Yeah. That mesh filter seemed to help. Um, I'm going to kill fifth gear. That's not inside our open. So we're going to go home.
Let's see how much power we made. Definitely seems like it's adapting. Get that intense focus going, John. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to put I mean get your nostril and focus. I'm gonna get some boogie pictures. <laughs> okay, so we So we're are, at two twelve? Well let's figure it out. So first fourth gear stock was about here, I think 198 was our best fourth gear stock. Track mode, we lost a little bit of power. So, won't use that one. And then we had our fourth gear, open air box mesh cut pull three, I think ended up being the 212. And most of the exhaust drop stuff was kind of horrible. Uh, open air box, and that was fifth gear open air box but yeah most of the exhaust drop stuff was not was fairly disappointing yeah so we did have like it recover a tiny bit green lines the recovery for the exhaust drop so i mean i guess it's really not that bad but that's what's not so important here so what is important is we have the car all the way back to stock and we're going to go through the only thing that's missing now is the rock catcher mesh material out of the air box. Got the exhaust back on, got the factory air filter put back inside the air box. We've let it cool down. Let's see. So we know that our fourth gear stock at 198 was pretty much our best stock pull. Let's see if there's five horsepower in that little mesh rock 
cut thing we did. I don't know what the hell to call that. Is it a mop catcher? <laughs> Fiberglass insert. It's your air filter filter. Yeah, the double filter. Here. Let me move that TV screen back over for you, John. <laughs> so now we're gonna run it, still fully stocked. The air box is put back together. It has the air filter in it, but it doesn't have mesh insert. We threw the exhaust back on. So now John's gonna do another fourth gear dyno run and see if it holds any of the power. Two oh seven is one seventy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm gonna kill the whole open box. There you are. So I guess that's what you're gonna be looking at if you decide to cut the mesh crap out. You gain about nine horsepower and four foot pounds of torque for cutting out that little mesh filter. Well, you're looking at peak. Why don't you look like here? So there's uh, sixteen horsepower. Okay. 16 horsepower is pretty good for a 20 minute mod right? that's free. But we should probably do another pull just to confirm. Yeah, do a um, second pull just make sure it holds it. Make sure we're being thorough. YouTube Inception! Where the fuck I am? Definitely gives some more intake noise with that pulled out. It's not as good as open box. John needs to grease the dyno. It's holding. That's solid. I guess. Okay. That's it. Hey, this is torque pipe for the Hyundai uh, 16 Turbo all over again. Do you think of it something we're going to do anything? That's <laughs> something. Holy shit. That's insane. Yeah. And it's all the way across the curve, like the gates are like wherever that weird dip. I have to assume it's about a camp profile changer. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. But that camp profile changer, I think that's probably where you're picking up most of your games. Oh shit! I never saw this. This. Yeah, I was gonna say, look yeah. at the bottom, man. It picks up fucking. 43 to 59? That's a decent amount of torque. And it helps to flatten out the torque curve that it has. Yeah. Which is pretty good. That was the big issue with the first gens. Click on right here. I want to see where it's at right at your mid range, essentially. Torque wise? Yeah. So you're looking red right at 153 and 165. Great. So. Alright. Okay. pounds of torque versus 165. You're looking 12. Yeah, that's noticeable. Yeah, both of those torque. I think this, a pop, what are you looking? So 15 horsepower gains. That's going to be, that's going to be obviously better. Mm hmm So, hey, you want to, okay, so I think most of these poles been pretty close, so watch this. So the red line, hey, and I am starting at about the same point. So we go, Time to accelerate the fourth gear is 9.51 seconds versus with the filter out, 10.2 seconds. Come on, John. Look professional. So, all right, guys. So, you know what we're going to hear about this. We're going to hear about a lot of engineering. A lot of people who think they know whatever. I don't you know. You know. They know the pull strength on you know, baby diapers or something. I really don't care what people think. This is the proof. We're on the dyno. We're getting the results done. We made, I have to swim more than 20 poles today. When you pull this glass mat filter thing out of your airbox, the games are there. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm, you know, a little 
actually really surprised and it's a little overwhelming to see the results because we're seeing somewhere in the neighborhood of about you know 15 horsepower on the top side of the curve so if you look at the down charts that we got posted in the video and this is after we did all the testing brought the car back to how to gain 20 horsepower hot. we got hot exhaust on we got hot air box <laughs> and, uh, sitting here you know tinking and clinking behind me after all the polls we did and pull for pull, back to back, we were able to show consistent gains by just cutting the glass mat out of your factory air box. So those people that are going to tell you the engineers put it in there for a reason, yeah, they put it in there because some engineer thought it would be a great idea. You know, and I've seen a lot of bad ideas in my time. I'm not I'm no engineer to you know judge what reason to have behind it. I can tell you though that you know it makes a difference to remove it. So remove it at your own, I guess. I don't even know what to call that. Johnny Cash. No, I'm working through it. No, no, no. Okay. You use it as an example. Hold it up for the crowd. Um, I'm, I'm editing the video. Right now. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Uh, try if you hold up the light, you can really see the opacity on that thing. How much it actually blocks off. But I don't know how much of this is dirt. You can't see any it light through it when it's brand new because of how little miles that car has on it. Uh, I guarantee you, most of what's in that was there from the factory. Interesting stuff inside the air box. This is this mat that we cut out, as you saw in the video. Just holding it up and looking at it in the light and stuff, I don't know. It looks like a fresh air filter with charcoal on it. <laughs> Maybe the engineer wanted to make sure the air got, you know, I don't Smell free air? I have no idea what the hell they thought. So here's the point. Cut it out, have fun with your car. You're an enthusiast. If they decide to avoid your warranty, we got a whole bunch of other problems like, I don't know, two pounds of silicone in the oil paint you should probably worry about for some kind of filter out of your airbox. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're getting TJ set up on the dyno because he doesn't want me to leave here making more power than him.